Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, the 2nd of September, getting set to cruise into a Labor Day holiday weekend with a tropical storm brewing in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, good news, we'll see some beneficial rain, I think, from this thing uh, by uh, late in the holiday weekend. But, of course, our friends on the Gulf Coast could deal with some pretty big flooding issues. Let's go right to our SkyCam network. That's the uh, Gulf Shore SkyCam. Uh, potential down there for rainfall amounts of over 10 inches in parts of southeast Louisiana and coastal Mississippi could see over 20 inches of rain, a very slow-moving system. That'll be the main effect of this. But again, it's not all bad news because we'll take that good beneficial rain up here. We sure need that. And we'll get into very uh, detailed information about the tropical system here in just a moment. And yes, football season, the college football season kicks off tomorrow for Alabama and Auburn. There's the uh, Tuscaloosa Sky Cam off in the distance. You got Bryant Denny Stadium. And there's the Auburn Sky Cam off in the distance, Sheridan Hare Stadium. I can't say there's no chance of rain at both sites. So there's certainly the possibility of a shower or two tomorrow, but they should be widely spaced. And the odds of the stadiums getting rain are pretty small at this point, as you'll see. Here's a look at the uh, water vapor satellite imagery, and you can see our tropical system in the Gulf. Otherwise, that old heat ridge really building north. The westerlies are up on the Canadian border. These are highs yesterday. Triple-digit heat up into St. Louis and Wichita, places like that. But look at the cool air up north. Looks awfully good. Fall is getting close. In fact, this is meteorological fall now. And in terms of astronomy, the equinox will be here in a couple of weeks or three weeks or so. Here's the uh, watch warning map, and of course we have uh, tropical storm warnings up now for uh, the Louisiana and Mississippi coasts, and those flash flood warnings in effect there also, and those should be extended eastward to include the uh, Alabama Gulf Coast and the Florida Panhandle uh, as we get into the weekend. Check the convective outlooks. This is the uh, Outlook for the rest of today and tonight, a slight risk up north. And day two, again, Chicago, Milwaukee, uh, Detroit, with a slight risk of severe weather. You think it's going to rain on the Gulf Coast? Wow, that's the QPF chart. Expected rain valid through Tuesday evening of next week. Two feet of rain around New Orleans and the mouth of the Mississippi. That's some serious flooding if that comes to pass, and it could very well. I mean, this is a... Classic, slow-moving system that's just going to dump a whole lot of rain. Uh, you get into those yellows, that's eight, nine inches over toward uh, Panama City or uh, toward uh, Pensacola, and then over to Panama City, that's still over five inches over there. And, of course, in Alabama, the amounts taper off tremendously from north to south. You go up to Huntsville, and that's suggesting three-quarters of an inch. And then below Birmingham, you get down into the two, three, four-inch totals. And, of course, it all depends on the track and structure of uh, the tropical system. And, you know, it's kind of hard giving it a name now because, you see, the, the guys at NHC are looking at that hybrid up there, and, and they're thinking about giving that one a name that's uh, well east of the U.S. coast. You know, if, if they give that a name first, then that becomes Lee, and our Gulf system is Maria. Now, to me, the, the, the Atlantic system up there, that's, that's a hybrid. It's not really a classic tropical system. I wouldn't name it, but... Uh, for now, we'll assume that the Gulf system gets the name Lee, but again, it might be Maria. And of course, Katia is off there in the central Atlantic. This thing is a, uh, uh, a tropical storm uh, with estimated sustained winds of 70 miles an hour now, but it should re-strengthen. There's the uh, track coming from the Hurricane Center. They've got it as a major hurricane late Tuesday night uh, between uh, Hispaniola and Bermuda. And uh, again, traditionally, climatology suggests that will be a recurving storm based on the upper air pattern. And you'll see what the GFS does with it here in just a bit. But this is the one that we will be watching. That's our system down there in the uh, Gulf of Mexico. We'll just say it should become Tropical Storm Lee. Modeling looks a whole lot better. The thing's just going to meander across the Gulf south of Louisiana for about three days dumping tremendous rains up on the Gulf Coast. And then uh, the bulk of the models bring it up this way. 
in about 120 hours in five days. And that's the thing. You know, the, the, the problem for us, it's the timing. When will the tropical rains get here? Will it be Sunday, Monday, or even Tuesday? Uh, and again, we'll see if we can tackle all of this. Uh, here's the intensity forecast. You got one or two that try and bring it up to a Category 1 hurricane. But again, this is just a big, big rainmaker. And that's not all bad. Uh, you know, obviously, you don't want to get to 24 inches down there in, in you know, Mississippi and Louisiana. But, boy, we'll take the, uh, you know, three, four, five inches we get up here. This will be quite a, a drought buster, if you will, for us. But we checked the uh, RPM accumulated rain. Now, this is through 72 hours. So this is through uh, late Saturday night, early Sunday morning. So, the, again, the rain is just getting up in here. The, the whites there... That's amounts of over 16 inches, and that does include, uh, you know, like Gulf Shores, Orange Beach, Pensacola, the Mississippi Gulf Coast, and again, uh, around Slidell and places like that. And then the heavier rains ease up into West Alabama, and of course, beyond 72 hours, the thing just moves northeast. Here's the official track from the National Hurricane Center. They got the thing as an inland tropical depression late Tuesday night. Coming up into uh, Washington County, Alabama, down in southwest Alabama. And again, that's a, you know, the, the big rains are going to be in the east side of that. And that just looks like a very favorable track to, to wet us down up here. But with tropical systems, always expect a surprise. And we'll see what it is with this one. We'll check the GFS. This is the OZ run at 7 o'clock local time this evening. Westerlies are way up north. Down below that, there's Lee or Maria. That's uh, just off the Louisiana coast. And again, we stay mostly dry today. Any shower should be very isolated. I don't think we have a big issue with high school football with rain. Could there be a stadium getting wet somewhere for a brief moment? Yes. But again, should not be a problem. It's going to be hot again with uh, uh, low and mid-90s today. Tomorrow, the system is sitting on the Louisiana coast. Big time rains over uh, Mobile, Baldwin counties, over to Pensacola and Destin. And, of course, you know, obviously you'll have riptides and very rough surf. But, again, notice we are mostly dry. So we'll mention widely scattered showers. But for the college games, again, I just don't think rain's going to be a big issue. And we'll stay hot. Understand, uh, we're still talking low and mid-90s tomorrow. Although high cirrus clouds will likely come in, maybe keeping us in the low 90s. All right, Sunday. It's not moving. hasn't moved a bit. It's sitting there over the Louisiana coast. The moisture clearly increases here. And uh, we'll begin to bring in a much better chance of rain. And the, the heat goes away. Uh, the, the GFS is a high of 82 on Sunday. Yeah. And here's Labor Day. The thing finally starts to move. The GFS still has this thing really on the Mississippi coast. And potential for very heavy rain. Highs in the low 80s. And Tuesday, it's still hanging around, weakening, and it still looks wet. But it really looks like maybe our core heaviest rain day will be Monday, but certainly a good chance of rain surrounding that on Sunday and Tuesday. And even Wednesday, it's still kind of, you know, wet looking. Uh, the, the, obviously, the heavier rains are over. And there's Thursday, uh, still evidence of, you know, moisture here. Maybe a few showers. And there's Katia, by the way, off in the Atlantic. We'll keep an eye on that. And there's a week from today back in the upper air. Look at the big trough forming over the east. It's not a trough connected with polar air at all. But, uh, again, that's uh, going to push Katia away from land, although this run is certainly closer. It's good for Bermuda. It's got Katia moving uh, between the uh, U.S. coast and Bermuda. It's a pretty big hurricane. And again, uh, it looks like all week long, we'll see highs in the 80s next week. No 90s. When's the last time we went a week without 90s? And uh, that following weekend, this is uh, Sunday the 11th. Katia is out, and uh, that looks pretty quiet here. We'll check the end of the forecast. This is the uh, 17th of September. Very high amplitude pattern, but the westerlies are still way up north. And again, that looks uh, pretty uneventful out there at mid-month. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 3.30 or so today. And if you are local to us, live around here, we invite you to watch us on television this evening. That's ABC 3340 in Birmingham at 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless.
Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of Central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.